Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to alter table in MySQL or MariaDB by using alter statement. Um, so we will create the table first uh, and then uh, we will uh, do these three steps. Uh, we will add a new column address to the customer table. And then uh, second, uh, we are going to modify our first name column that uh, data type we would have defined 30 and we would like to change to 40. Okay, and the last, uh, if we need to remove a column, in our case, uh, we are going to remove age column from our table customer. Now, you can uh, look for the scripts uh, used in this video on TechResus IT. I will put the link in the description. Uh, again, if you like our effort, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, so, let me uh, create this table. So, use uh, TechResus IT or TechResus database here. Then, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create this uh, table called the customer. Um, okay now we can uh, take a look here on the right side or if uh, you are uh, using a command line uh, we are going to keep that in way like we are going to use the command line uh, so we'll just say show tables uh, once we do that uh, it is going to show us the tables uh, i have only two tables uh, very first step uh, if you guys remember that we need to add a new column called the address uh, and you know that address is a string uh, so we will say alter table and table name so our table name is customer then we are going to say add and column name so in our case uh, it is going to be the address okay and uh, i will go for car 150 okay so that's uh, because there's some uh, uh, addresses are really lengthy and uh, 150 will take care of that the work car will save alphanumeric values for us uh, okay so I'm going to go ahead and run this statement. OK, this is a statement completed successfully. You can see the output down there. Now, how we'll check if the output or that this column is added. There are multiple ways if you will. So you can say select asterisk from customer. That's one way. OK, but you will not really see the data types and all that in this case. If you run this statement, you will see only the list of the column to see the uh, definition of a de object in uh, MySQL or MyUDB, you will say describe, okay, and then you type uh, the object name. Once we do that, we will get all the detail. So this will work in your uh, command line as well. So I'm, I'm going to do everything, uh, whatever I do here, I'm thinking like I'm doing in command line. This is just the interface uh, is more beautiful and uh, it's more, um, you know, grid view is uh, more um, um, kind of makes sense uh, in the demos. But uh, you can run on the command line as well. So describe as you see here. Uh, this is what we have right here address uh, 150 okay now in the next part what we are going to do we are going to change uh, the length of the data type uh, so what we will do we'll say alter table and uh, the table name is customer and uh, we say modify and uh, the name of the column first name and watcher 40 if you guys remember right here is 30 now we are going to run this and it should change to watcher 40 okay that completed successfully we can say describe customer again run it again and you can see that the data type has changed from watcher 30 to watcher 40. the last thing what we would like to do would like to drop the age column so in that case what you have to do you have to say alter table and the customer that's our table name and you will say drop column and you'll say age okay that's all and once you run this statement, uh, the column should be dropped. You can see that uh, it is dropped successfully. Describe a customer, run the statement, and you will see no age column. So that's how you are going to alter your table. You can add a new column change the data type of a column and uh, drop the column as well make sure if you are changing the data type of a column so that should fit in the new data type in my case like watcher 30 you know i increased from watcher 30 to watcher 40 so that there is no problem but if i will try to uh, decrease let's say if i have a watcher 30 and i will try to decrease to watcher 20 that could be problem because there could be values they will not fit in the new data type so if Study your data types first and then go from there. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video.